So I'm not a fence builder, uh, I'm not a contractor. Uh, there are a ton of fence building videos there, gate building videos out there on YouTube. Probably pros who are doing it better than I am. Uh, I don't think fencing is something that I really want to tackle by myself around the whole yard. I didn't bother filming uh, the process of this. Um, but what I did have was a very specific want, I won't quite say need, but want for this area. So having a contractor do it would have been a little more expensive. Um, what I have here is a small utility trailer that's uh, 70 some inches wide, a little over 6 feet wide. And I need a way to get into the backyard for storage. Uh, little trailers like this tend to get stolen out of driveways when nobody's looking. And this is by far the widest entry I've got. Uh, we also last year, and I wish I would have filmed this, managed to squeeze back through here uh, one of those towable uh, boom mounted uh, lifts to trim trim some of these trees back here. Uh, that was quite fun getting it in here. But we did manage to pull it off by jacking out the post and taking the fence down. So this fence I wanted to solve the problem for the trailer as well as if we have to get a lift back here again. So what I came up with is a main gate here that's wide enough to get my riding lawnmower through. Uh, will easily fit through there. And then a secondary gate for pedestrian use that uh, will probably be used more often uh, for anything other than the mower. And for this center post, this section from here to here will pull up out of the ground when needed. Uh, I've got used drill pipe that I buried in the concrete and then my regular post slides down into it. I have another clamp here as a depth stop and then to keep it from twisting and turning too much there, uh, I've got a single bolt run through. You'll definitely want a steel, quality steel rated drill bit, not a cheap homeowner wood bit or harbor freight uh, bit. And it will not drill through that uh, that thick wall uh, drill pipe that's Schedule 40. Um, you'd probably drill through this galvanized post pretty easily. These are the heavier posts, but they're definitely not Schedule 40. Uh, and I've got it buried with leftover fence supply here. But what I've got is a single post back here. Same idea. I don't have to take this out to to get the trailer through, but if I do need to get a lift through here, this post will come out as well. Um, it is just a single post and it's holding, even though it's a smaller gate, it would be prone to twist. So I've taken some brackets and some concrete anchors and I've anchored it to the house so that post is very solid uh, and it's not going to twist and turn. So here's what it looks like from the back, you know, definitely very usable gate on the right for the riding lawnmower pedestrian gate on the left in the neighborhood of about 52 inches usable on the larger gate for the smaller gate here I'm going to end up with a usable about 32 and a half inches usable there it's really not too difficult to get the center post out you know, it's not something I'll be doing very often but when I do need to get that trailer through here I'll need to be able to get this out so I'll squat down here just a wing nut on this bolt. I'll make sure not to lose this because that does keep the post from rotating. We'll simply rotate it to clear the even out. And it pulls right out of there. So what we end up with at this point then is a nice big opening that I can get that trailer through. Measuring that, I come up with a usable of about 94 inches, which for a 70-some you know, inch trailer is certainly more than enough. Uh, it might give me enough room on its own to get that boom lift through here, that trailer mounted boom lift, if I ever need to. If not, I can take out the far post up against the house. Uh, but again, I'm not a, a fencing pro or a contractor, and I know there are tons of videos that show a uh, detailed process of building, but. This is what I came up with to solve my particular uh, want or need, and uh, hope this helps somebody out uh, there looking to do something similar. So here's a view of the finished product, uh, back away from it. Uh, right about the center hinge there is the property line, slightly to the left of it, and then the rest of that's the neighbors. So while I was here, I went ahead and did his. We've got an even line straight across this way, and his was just as bad off as mine. 